What's up everybody? In this video, I will explain how to use function calling with open source LLMs. Function calling is one feature of LLM where you can describe functions to LLM and have it intelligently return function to call for a particular task along with necessary arguments. For example, let's say that you have declared a function to retrieve the latest close price of a stock and want LLM to use it to retrieve the latest price data. Then you can describe it to LLM using a function calling feature. For our purpose, we will use open source LLM Llama 3 available through Grok API. For coding, we will use Langchain framework, which is famous for building LLM apps. So without further ado, let's get started. All right. So as you can see on my screen, I have kept the total code of this tutorial in a Jupyter notebook. At the beginning of the notebook, I have highlighted important sections of this tutorial. So first we will load LLM, then we will define tools. Generally in lang chain uh, functions are referred to as tools. So it's a wrapper around functions. Then we will link tools with LLM and use that LLM with tools. And at last I will explain how you can create an agent which can use that tools and take decision independently. So first of all, you need to install lang chain for this tutorial. And over here I have simple code that loads the Grok API key. Uh, so the Grok API key is kept in a .env file in the current directory where I have kept this uh, Jupyter notebook. From that I am simply loading the Grok uh, API key. Now in order to use uh, LLMs through Grok, you need to create this API. For that, you can go to this uh, link grok.console.com. So console.grok.com. And over there you need to go to API keys. So you simply need to create account on console.grok. And over here you can create an API key. And that API key I have kept in the env environment files. So currently from Grok there are four models available. So this for Llama 3 with 8 billion and 70 billion. Gamma 7 billion and Mixtral, uh, Mixtral 8, uh, 8x 7b is currently available. And it's free. And currently there is a limit on number of requests per minute. So keep this uh, limit in mind when you are developing uh, apps using Grok API. So first of all, in order to load LLMs, I have imported chat open AI. So it's a wrapper. So it's not necessary that uh, you can use it to call open AI API only. Over here, we will use it to call Grok API. So base URL over here is of the Grok API. And as you can see, API key is the Grok API key, which we loaded from. And the model I am using over here is 8 billion Llama 3. So that's how you can uh, create an LLM from Langchain underscore OpenAI module. There is a Grok module as well, Langchain underscore Grok, and you can use that as well. But I, have, I haven't tried uh, linking tools with that one. But with OChat OpenAI, I am sure that it works because I tried with the chat Olama as well and the linking of tools with Olama did not work. That's why I resorted to using chat OpenAI. So once you have defined uh, Llama 3 LLM, then you can simply call invoke function or invoke method on it and give the query to it. So that's what I have done. Said, how, how are you? And it returns an AI message. So the content is attribute of that AI message where the actual text is present. So that's how you can call LLM. So once uh, we have defined LLM, our LLM, next we will define tools. So these tools are nothing but the function that we want our LLMs to use. So it's a simple Python function as you can see, but you need to specify the data type of the arguments and the data type of uh, return variable as well. And then you need to add doc string. So the reason behind adding these things is that this will help properly define this function and describe this function properly to the LLM. So it knows that when it uh, provides us with this function's argument, the argument should be of integer, the return type is expected integer. And this is a description of function that what this function should does. So for what purpose the LLM can use it. So in order to turn any function into tool, we simply need to decorate it with add tool decorator. So the first function is simply for addition of two numbers and the second one is for simply multiplication of two numbers. So these two tools I have defined and I want that uh, whenever LLM 
wants to perform some addition or multiplication i want it to use these tools than doing it by itself because llms can make mistakes when doing addition or multiplications of large numbers so once we have defined tools and we have also defined llm let's link those tools with llm so in order to do that in llama 3 so the chat open ai instance that we created it has a method named bind tools and there we can provide the list of tools now this method is currently not available with the chat olama which is available if you want to use your local llms with chat olama it's not available that's why i use the grow kpi to access so this will return another llm only and but this llm will use tools so it will return response uh, which will be tool calls and this method bind tools has an argument name tool choice which can be set to any so if you are giving multiple tools then you can set it to any and if you are providing only one tool then you can also build the actual name of the tool so if the tool name is add you can give the name add over here simply string add and it will call it every time and it will generate the arguments for it so once you have declared the llm with tools we can call it by invoking the invoke function and over there we can give query so what is 125 121 plus 5 times 9 so for this we want it to use tools so the response is ai message it's of type ai message and that ai message so the content of this the ai message will be empty but the tool calls which is attribute there the tool calls will be present so as you can see there are two tool calls first is for addition of 121 and 5 and second is the multiplication of that result by 9 so it's properly you know calling the it's properly identifying what the tools it should use and then the arguments of these tools so you can use to json to see which tools are available with your llm so now that i have explained you how you can link tools with llm and then call that uh, llm with uh, tools to generate a response let's create a loop where we give the query to the llm it will generate a response which will be tool calls we will call those tools and add those responses of those tool to the messages and give it to llm to generate final response so that's uh, for loop is written over here so first of all there is a query our original query so messages is a variable where i am maintaining list of messages so it's a message history you can say so first one is a human message which is query and then I have invoked the llama3 with tools, the uh, LLM with tools with invoke and the query. So this will return AI message. And this AI message is again appended to messages. And if you remember, the AI message has an attribute named tool calls. So we can loop through the tool calls and we can retrieve the selected tool. So this dictionary has two tools add and multiply. And from tool call of name, we can retrieve the name of the tool. So if you remember from PBS over here, the name is present of the tool. And then in arguments, what argument should be given to that tool is present. So first of all, we retrieve the selected tool, which will be add or multiply. And then we invoke that tool, which tool call of arcs. So whatever arguments of that tool, and that will be the tool output. And we append the messages, the tool message, which has tool output and the tool call ID. So the final messages is first, as you can see, human message, our query, original query, then the AI message. So this AI message has content, as you can see, empty, but tool calls are present, the two tool calls. And based on the two tool calls over here, tool messages are present. And content is the responses of those tools. So the response that we, re uh, we received after calling those tools. So once we are done with uh, this history, we can give this list of messages to our LLM. Now over here, as you can see, this Llama 3 is our original Llama 3, not the one with the tool. So keep that in mind. If you use the one with the tool, it always returns tools. So you need to use the original LLM, Llama 3, and call invoke on it with the list of messages. And this time, the final response, if you see the content of it, it says that now that we have a result of both tools, we can calculate the final answer. The first tool call is this and the result is this and the second tool call result is this so to calculate final answer we multiply 126 by 9 which is the output of the second tool call so the final answer is indeed 1134 and which is correct i did it manually below as you can see that's correct
so that's how you can uh, define llm with the uh, tools and then you can call tools this way by writing a loop now next i will explain you how you can automate this uh, loop all right so now that i have explained you how you can define llm with tools and call it and i'll we also wrote a manual manual uh, for loop where we call the tools so next i will explain you how you can define an agent now agent will automate the process that we did manually of calling tools it will call tools by itself and then return the final result so for that we need to import few classes and functions so agent executor will be used to execute agent and create tool calling agent and this function will create a agent which has llm and tools both so this function will be used to create agent chat openai is again our llm class chat prompt template we will use to define the prompt template and message placeholder is simply the placeholder of the variable in that chat prompt template so over here from messages function is called from chat prompt template and the first one is a system message so i ask it that you are a helpful assistant you may not need to use tools for every query so i'm just informing it that use the tool only if it is needed the user may just want to chat as well and then next we are giving messages so this will be history the list of messages so first uh, if we ask only single query then there will be query over here and agent scratch pad is the part where this agent will do reasoning so it will over here it will say that uh, i need to call the tool with this arguments then it will call th that tool retrieve the result so those things will be here in agent scratch pad and then i have defined our llm again llama3 but this time i have used uh, llama3 with uh, 70 billion parameter not the 8 billion one so again we are using grok api and i have found out that uh, the models the open source models with uh, high parameter like 70 billion generally gives a good result in function calling because function calling is still not that reliable the llms sometimes make mistakes in function calling so that's why it's better to use a high parameter model which makes less mistakes and once we have defined llm we can call create tool calling agent function to define llm uh, the agent where we give our llm llama 3 tools and the prompt this will create agent and then we need to create agent executor so we can call agent executor class give agent over there tools and i have set verbose to true because we want to see how it's reasoning how it's calling various tools so we want to see that it's for debugging purpose if you are doing it in production then you don't need to set verbose to true so once we have defined our executor we can call it by calling the invoke method on it and over there we need to give messages so messages is a list of messages so in our case i am simply calling giving a human message so the content is so this time i am giving it to a different query i, I have given it to expiration so i ask it that add 8 to 199 and then multiply the result by 4 and as you can see from response so this is generated because i set verbose to true so these are debugging messages so it found out that first it need to call add function add tool with argument 199 and 8 and then it retrieved the result that 199 plus 8 is 207 and then it's saying that it needs to use multiply so invoking multiply with arguments 207 and 4 so it perfectly understood what we wanted and the final answer is 828 which is correct as you can see i have done it over here manually as well so i tried a few more queries to check whether it's doing a good job or not so here is a one more query so over here i asked that what is trees to r12 and then i have asked a separate query in the same question that uh, what is 11 plus 49 so as you can see first it called multiply to with 3 and 12 and then it called add with 11 and 49 so the answers are 36 and 60 which is correct so next let's try one more query so this time i have asked it to add 121 to 5 and then multiply the result by 2 and as you can see it has done perfect job at identifying that it need to use add tool first followed by multiply and the result is correct as well so i tried one more query a uh, bit complicated this time so i tried to give it a very complicated number 
so this is 121 million something and 453 million and these are the comma separated so it properly converted that uh, comma separated string to integers as you can see and this is the final result which is correct so it was able to recognize this one as well so i went one step further and this time instead of writing numbers i wrote numbers as words so as you can see add 2 to 121 and then multiply the result by 5 and it was able to identify that correctly as well so as you can see add with argument 2 and 121 so it converted words to digits so that's answer 123 and that it invoked multiply with 123 and 5 and 615 so that's a correct answer so it was able to handle our agent automated agent was able to handle different queries with different arguments so yeah that's it for today's tutorial in today's tutorial I'll explain how you can use uh, function calling with open source llms like uh, llama 3 and we use grow kpi for accessing llms and for designing our code we use the langchain function now if you are going to use a function calling uh, with open source do check that whether the llm actually supports function calling or not so for example let's say if you try function calling with llama 2 it won't work the latest models which are generally llama llama 3 phi 3 mistral latest versions these are generally fine-tuned for function calling purpose so if you are using llm for function calling purpose do remember to use the latest models and the high parameters models like 70 billion and so so they are reliable compared to low parameter models so yeah that's it see you next time